G'day scrappers, back out doing a bit of street scrapping and uh, <laughs> I've kind of lost my way oh. um. Might take that uh. Yeah, I've, oh, there's a modem, two modems. Yeah, I've uh, lost my way a little bit because uh, I, uh, I didn't draw out a map like I normally do. <laughs> and uh, I'll get back to that. I just want to look at this pile. Yeah. I didn't draw out a map, so uh, I thought I knew where I was going, but I don't, <laughs> it seems. I'll grab the whole box of uh, Christmas lights. I could grab that steel. Yeah, but we'll just uh, play it by ear. Um, I have finally found the street with hard rubbish so um, so I'm in the right area now and I'm just going to mosey around and just see how I go uh, is that a DVD or something? Huh. Foxtel box. It's wood. These are good. Hard drive. Good board. All right. Well, it looks like the microwave. <laughs> microwave scrapper has come and taken the transformer. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, there's another microwave scrapped, so they're still out here, these microwave scrappers. Uh, this is actually Iron the Alley, so yeah, no, I shouldn't be taking push bikes, but Iron the Alley, I think it's Iron the Alley. Huh. Magnets are... Uh, I uh, don't want to take bulky steel. I don't really want to take steel at all. Uh, cord gone. Okay. Another microwave scrap. So four microwaves in one stop. <laughs> yeah, scrap uh, steel prices have dropped. Dropped a bit this week. Um, yeah, uh, actually, a lot of things have dropped this week. Uh, so, it's not so much, it's not really, uh, oh, it is still worth picking up scrap steel if you can pick up good heavy stuff, but, oh, that's flat. But, uh, yeah. Cord food. Just going for a little look. Hey. Oh. Ah, oh, just looking out for maybe computer, you know. Oh, really? Uh, they had a few PCs actually, but she's going, oh, they're not ready to go yet. Um, maybe, uh, 
maybe next time kind of thing and I thought oh yeah all right fair enough some people just don't like to get rid of things if they know that um, other people are, <laughs> are looking to pick them up so but she had like uh, 20 odd uh, keyboards <laughs> and um, she said oh someone's already come along and, and taken all the wires off the keyboards so they obviously <laughs> spent a bit of time um, I think I've seen a oh yeah hey a microwave that hasn't been scrapped out that's a start and a bit of cord food why not yeah so I uh, I bumped into a scrapper to ask uh, where I am because <laughs> normally the uh, the maps are really detailed but this week, or this area's map has no details, just a, a big round map. Doesn't show me streets. But I'm in the right section, so. Uh, I'll just cruise around and just turn into every street that I find and, uh, and we'll be all right. Okay, couple of phones. Uh, was. Let's see if we can cut some of this old wire out there we go That's some rigor mesh yeah but this section is a pretty good section normally uh, yeah, steel. If I knew my way around, I'd probably have a quite a lot of fun today. Hey, oh, hey, it's our third modem. I was so far away. Thank you, Jack. Thank you.
Yeah. Just wheels for now. Don't, don't wanna, unless I see an irony bike. It's actually a good bike. It's got a nice big seat. <laughs> it's a good bike. Okay. Oh well, they're not PCs, but something. Great. Noise. <sighs> now, I think that's the catalytic converter. I don't think it is. And they're just mufflers. Oh, well. I'll work it out, but I don't think so. It out, but I don't think it's catalytic converter. <coughs> so, it's a week for Christmas lights. I need some of these wheels. Oh, what the heck? Since since they're not scrapped out, that'll have a good transformer. Just take them. big heater you don't want that all right there's a nice You've got to leave that out for guys that like that kind of stuff hey, there's the modem yeah good I like motors I'm um, just uh, coming to pick up, a, <laughs> have a look at this stainless steel. Okay, it's got wood. Yeah. Um, actually, it's all uh, steel. Yeah, this one would go more as irony stainless and oh that's what I wanted to mention stainless steel wow did that drop it um 
halved. I was getting like two dollars, over two dollars a kilo, and I went last week with uh, some stainless, and I got a dollar a kilo. That's uh, that's crazy. So obviously, there's uh, oversupply of stainless steel and. Uh, Bell oh, I thought I'll take a ballast. Ballasts are excellent. You get your ballast transformer, um, and but they're really easy. It's sort of like a downtime scrap. nice and easy when you just want to chill out scrap out ballast good stuff and we still get scrap steel and, Good man, how are you? Yeah, all right. Oh, they're uh, fencing, expansion joint. Expansion joint. Oh, okay. Oh, bonus. <laughs> you too, guys. Expansion joints. You know, if you know what you're doing. There's more. like scrap oh okay I thought they would have been just scrapped out laptops but there's hard drives hey can't complain with hard drives uh, yep so the laptops hey already scrapped for me <laughs> uh, where's the other one there you go Laptop motherboards, uh, that's a docking cable. Oh, yeah, so they're really ripped into it. Oh, uh, that's a shame. It's a big old scrapped out PC, gamer. Oh well, that'll do. Got three laptop motherboards. Cool. Yeah, there's certainly a lot of piles, but I, you know, as usual, uh, obviously it's a lot of rubbish. Um, well, I don't think I'm going to score any PCs in a hurry, but yeah, there's a lot to look at, but it's just, yeah. It's not really my stuff or anyone's stuff that's why it's <laughs> still here because uh, believe me there's scrappers are go going pretty hard so there's no mucking around now should I go right to the end have a look yeah old-school PCs unfortunately 
scrapped out. That. Uh, we'll get scrap metal for it. Uh, I'll take that for brass. Bit of a mess. Oh. Uh, yeah, PC scrapped. And scrap does have the power supplies, but oh, yeah. that's all the cord cutters. So th there must have been heaps here, PC wise. Yeah. Oh well, some lucky scrapper did good. Uh, so it's quite clear I'm not going to get PCs. Yeah, how many is that? Three or four? PCs scrapped out already so it seems that um, you know there's obviously a scrapper that's looking for PCs but uh, willing to scrap them out on the spot to save taking uh, obviously stuff back home uh, some scrappers do that because they don't have uh, enough room for uh, you know they might live in, in in an apartment there you go uh, Pokemon cards ah why not see a kid bunch of Pokemon cards there could be one of those rare ones in there you know uh, I like to have you know things like that give to uh, like if a local kids running around say hey uh, do you want to you want some cards or toys whatever but I don't do it very often because it gets a bit creepy you know like a 50 year old guy you know handing kids <laughs> toys and stuff and yeah best not you know most parents would say I rather you didn't <laughs> so uh, oh gosh, uh, yeah, not even brass, just leave it, um, yeah, so it looks like I'm not going to get electronics so I might as well start loading with the, the good old push bikes and stuff, see how we go, what have we got here? Nearly. Uh, hey, modem. Motor. Uh, tell you what. Oh, and people say, you know, like I mentioned cord cutters. People say, oh, you're a cord cutter. Yes and no, because a professional cord cutter um, will stop at every pile that they see a cord and take it whereas I only take cords when I'm actually looking at the pile I see plenty of things heaters and stuff got a big cord sticking out or a washing machine I don't stop to get the cord <laughs> um, it's only Hey, if I happen to be there, then why not? Because guaranteed that uh, you know someone else will. So hey, got to try. Okay. Yeah. So I reckon this area would have been great uh, for PCs and stuff. Um, you know, open a drawer. We find puzzles. Money, I bet you. Uh, sometimes you find a dollar or so. <laughs> mm. 
Nice. G'day. They're old. Old dumbbells. I'll keep them. How's that? Old school dumbbells. Homemade. Hey, there's a cord cutter. Hey. Yeah. See, that guy's got the right idea. He goes around on a little scooter with a thing at the back, and away you go. You know, he can zip around, get into nooks and crannies that, you know, are normally hard or just take a lot of time. Um, so, yeah, even a small hatchback. You know, uh, the thing with hatchbacks is like your little uh, Toyota hatchback or whatever, um, they run off, they're so economical to run and if you can pick them up really cheap and you just use it as a, <laughs> like a scrapper car and you can zip around so quickly and before you know it, you know, especially if you're a professional cord cutter you can go around and you can pick up a hundred bucks worth of cords pretty quickly and then obviously if you're looking for things too you know you might find if you're looking right into boxes and stuff you'll get laptops and uh, gaming stuff um, heaps of stuff and uh, yeah you don't have to go around picking up uh, scrap metal you can uh, Yeah. But I reckon I'd be I'm going to be very lucky if I find a a computer so, to find four already scrapped out. And uh yeah. So I've given up on the idea that I'm going to pick up PCs, but that's fine. Um you know, I'm still going to go home with a bit of scrap steel. Uh and cable so it looks like we might get some cable no not much circuit board gosh even cord cutters are great no laptop couple of teddies yeah yeah as you can see it's a lot of timber rubbish and crow outside rubbish no hey hey mate stone to crows oh well <laughs> I'm just thinking we're certainly not going to be uh, finding any PCs or any choice pick stuff so um, I think we've got to start going freestyle guys just uh, you know since we're here we might as well just load up with uh, scrap metal or anything and I'll just take it all straight to the scrapyard and I'll see how I go but um, yeah forget choice pick stuff <laughs> um, can't even find a cord so it's amazing how many people are throwing out Christmas stuff though it's it's what the start of July so um, and they'll probably just go out and buy another Christmas tree they like people seem to buy Christmas tree every every year but as you can see the piles are just uh, furniture and rubbish so I mean that's what you expect but yeah 
freestyle mode. Should call myself the, the bicycle recycler. Yeah. Same place, still hasn't put out the um, computers. So as you can see, I'm going around in circles. Hey everybody, oh, good man, just take this box. Yeah. Thank you. These boxes. They're a straight post, but so many people throw them out. So it's in the rubbish. I'll take it. They're great boxes. Best boxes around. Uh, ooh, better move up. What do you reckon? Uh, sure I was at this pile before but there's a PC hey ah oh. oh, I thought this was the one with uh... oh. I thought this was the one with those two old school scrapped out PCs we got three PCs awesome you in there oh, I did <laughs> did not expect that old schools this is what we want oh yeah <laughs> Still got cards, everything. And this one, three cards, old school, uh, hard drive, everything. Ah, finally found a decent pile. <sighs> What else we might be able to find around here? Iron Ellie, dirty Ellie. Uh, wow, three PCs in one pile. Some Iron Ellie. All right. That's more like it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep, I'm going to be the microwave king today. Well, actually with so many uh, microwaves and you know the cords and PCs I think uh, yeah as usual I can't take it straight to the scrapyard because there's too much work uh, to do so I'll, I'll just unload it when I um, get back alright a little squeeze at the back token scrap metal check at these scrappers they've blocked off the road he's gone on the other side of the road he's doing whatever he's doing and uh, unbelievable I've got three cars behind me I've got uh, there's cars behind him over that side and he's still going for two measly cords He's blocked the whole road. Two blokes, both got cigarettes hanging out of their mouth. I mean, you gotta have respect, guys. You know, like, res not just respect for other scrappers, obviously, but respect for people in the streets, you know? And, nah, unbelievable. 
Oh, here's another one. Look. Just, I mean, how many of them are there, man? Got a nice ute. Yeah, it really depends on the street. Some streets you can stop, jump out, grab things, fine. But other streets, yeah, yeah DVD, um, hard drive version. Yeah, just uh, just top up now. Whatever I can. Train. Easy. That's a good one. get it in <sighs> where there's a wheel there's a way Yay, freshly put out. That's gone. Uh, that's still here. Oh, well, we've got one. One vacuum cleaner kale. You're joking. Hey, <laughs> PC. Hey, that's number four. That's awesome. I only stopped to pick up the vacuum clean, uh, the microwave. I'm pretty happy. PC and a microwave. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit any more bikes. Well, I better go back. Here we go. Whole bag of cables. All right. PC. Hey, it was still in box. All right. Looking good, guys. Four PCs. That's pretty cool. Starting to get a bit dark, but I reckon I've got another 10 minutes in me.
Okay then, this way. All right, well, that's a big pile. What's that? E cat. It's like. <laughs> electric scooter too heavy for me to lift it up into my thing well there was a Mac keyboard wow you see <laughs> when you guys watch the videos of street scrapping you can see 20 different things me I'm only you know you can only focus on where your eyes take you and uh, see so everyone saying, oh, you missed that, you missed that. Hey, that's a uh, PlayStation 2. Awesome, little PlayStation 2. Hey, it's amazing what you find when you look behind but I try not to dismantle you know I just sort of pick through a little bit because I certainly don't want to make a mess for people Board's gone. All right, what's this? Yeah. <clears throat> we might as well top up. Push bike. Okay, almost done, guys. Yeah, I was just uh, bumped into a, a friend scrapper, uh, Nick, and uh, yeah, he's saying that uh, he's, he's driving around and there's, he hasn't seen a PC in two days, apart from all the scrapped. There he is. <laughs> Just driving around in his SUV. But, I've had a bit of luck, get four PCs and uh, yeah finish up now uh, another push bike why not it pays for fuel a little bit you know gives me a reason to go to the scrap steel yard and uh, and then uh, gives me incentive to scrap out more things so I can yeah, but uh, yeah, for, for those guys that are just going around looking for electronics and PCs, wow, you know, I mean, if you, you, you weigh up um, the cost of fuel and everything, uh, you need a lot of this stuff, cords. I don't think I've got room for that bike. Just want to, uh, oh, here we go. What's that? Charles Keith. Just an empty box. Alright, well, there's a monitor. Not, not a special monitor. But at four dollars a kilo. We've got to get the cords. Yeah, all right. Uh, five more minutes. You know, it's kind of nice driving around um, when the uh, sun's set. There's uh, not many people running around or cars driving. So um, it's quite peaceful. It's like, uh, you know, <laughs> leave us scrappers just go about our own business and uh, we'll be right I was actually just in this street so I'm doubling up here 
All right, end of the line, I think. Ah, I know Mandela, they're taps. This is all tap fittings or brass stuff. Good, good, good. That might be copper. Got to go through the back. Um, yeah. I think I think I should be able to finish up here. Just load up what I got. Uh, we'll just take anything we can fit. It wouldn't be a scrapping day without a pink push bike. And no, I don't know why we call them push bikes and people in the States call them, well, we also call them bicycles. They're bikes, bicycles. But we also call them push bikes. That's a nice little, uh, <laughs> was a trike. <sighs> Look at that. Hey, <laughs> what's that, toaster? Plastic. Yeah, weather looks like it's starting to change. George Foreman. Yep, this is the last street and I'm heading back. Beautiful. Huh. Awesome. <laughs> Got me uh Four PCs, my gaming, uh, what was it? PlayStation 2. Um, oh, those, those old uh, vintage dumbbells. They're not actually official dumbbells, they're, they look like steel balls have been welded on a piece of metal. So I'm just gonna pick through Normally, uh, I just I think I've seen a cord. Just grab anything. Tomorrow morning, oh no. Oh no, it's just, the cord's already gone. That's an old. It's got light globes. Uh, oh, it's like a, it's, <laughs> I didn't know what it was, it's a bloody range hood. Uh, I'll take that. Wonder if I can open this door here. Oh, just. Yeah, time to go home and. Uh, Doesn't look too bad. Don't think it's going to rain, but oh, there's a cord off the pump. Hey, there you go. That was worth walking down for 40 cents. Give a scrapper a hand. G'day. Hello. You taking me a birdcage? Yeah. 
Did you want it? No, I'm going to give you a hand to put it in there. Sure no? you don't want it? No, not at all. All right. As good, look, as good looking as I am, I get so many birds and chasing me, you know. <laughs> you, don't need a bird, you don't need a cage to keep them all in? No, no, true. <laughs> you might. Uh, yeah, I was afraid of that. Oh. Maybe but, I should have thought about that. Yeah. <laughs> right, hang on. Let me get this one out. There we go. That's okay. Let's just... Yep. yep. Ooh. Oh, actually, right. oh. you don't want the legs first to slide a bit further in? No, wait, I'll have to lift it up on the, um, on the actual back of the oh. you, That's all right, because I'll put this there. All right. Thanks, buddy. You all right, mate? Yep, I will be, thank you. Okay. Okay. There you go. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Chivalry is not dead. You've got to, you know, even though she is probably as tough as nails and she can do it all, you know, no doubt. But, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a girl. I've helped guys I've, a few years ago some of you might remember I, I see a guy dragging a, a mattress down the road and he's like 10 minutes away I said I'll take you there <laughs> you know if I've got an empty van I do that uh, but it doesn't it's not always the case geez it's getting a bit dark around here and I'm uh, I think I'm done, what's the point? <laughs> I can't fit any more in apart from something good. Like a, I can fit a PC in, I'll put it on my lap if I have to. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it guys. I think I better start heading back before it gets too dark and uh, all the zombies start coming out. And uh, for their scrap, um, yeah. What's that? Huh. You know, it, it's really strange, like, in this kind of street scrapping, because you know it's all there, and it's all going to get picked up tomorrow morning, you know, it's uh, hard to leave and say, okay, that'll do, because a lot of people actually start putting things out at this time, because they don't want so many scrappers going through their piles but um you know uh, yeah it's sort of it's street scrapping is very addictive in a way um even though you know it's not as if we're we're chasing big bucks but you know it's just yeah really once you get into it it's really hard to slow, you know, stop for the day anyway. All right, guys. Well, I hope that was a bit of fun for you. And uh, yeah, I certainly had a lot of fun. There's still scrappers everywhere going through piles. Um, it's amazing. And there's also a lot of uh, spotter scrappers. Um, there's uh, Facebook pages like Hard Rubbish Melbourne. And whilst people are out and about um, picking, they find stuff that is good that they don't want. And so they, um, they get onto the Facebook page and say, oh, this is in this street out the front of this house, you know, and then you get a, you know, a lot of people coming out just uh, to pick up that one item. And then whilst they're here, they might uh, go around and see what else they can pick but I just love the different types of pickers out there you know um, yeah anyway all right guys it's a bit dark in there but uh, we certainly did fill up and um, that's about the best we can do in this area four PCs can't complain with that but uh, yeah, I'll just find my map home and uh, so keep scrapping guys.
have fun and I'll catch you probably uh, through the week with uh, um, an oddball scrap video, scrap metal or selling circuit boards or something, getting prices and uh, yeah and then back out street scrapping and in two weeks time street scrapping should get really really exciting so keep an eye out for that too. Have a good one guys, catch you next time.